Hi beauties and curls, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we are talking about our May favorites and flops because I do have a few. If you are new, I just wanna let you know my name is Melissa Q, thanks so much for coming in. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. It's gonna let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in the month of May, I did do Everyday May, but I want to get into some favorites. I do have some beauty, some hair, some skincare. I also have some Netflix. I have some randoms. So let's just jump right into the video. Let's start off with hair care. The first one is the She Scented Okra Hair Repair Constructive Conditioner. I did do a review on this. Hopefully it will go up before this video, I'm just saying. But this is a really, really good strengthening conditioner and I feel like that it does soften the hair as well but I definitely can feel that it's strengthened when I use this I have like half a bottle left but this is really good it's a great detangler too and with my hair being so tangly I really do appreciate products that I can that has some slip but has moisture but has strength and this actually has okra extract in it and it's the second ingredient so when I look at ingredients and it says it in the name of the products, I want it to be high on the list, you know what I mean? And uh, the okra extract is supposed to help with reconstructing the hair and it has some strengthening properties. So I really, really do enjoy this. It's a pleasant scent and the this is a cruelty-free product. It is paraben-free, mineral oil-free, and petrochemical-free. Can somebody tell me what pe petrochemical means? But we're going to look that up. But it restores the strengths of damaged strands. It's organic botanicals that condition is the hair. It rejuvenates, constructs, and revives. Oh, and it's rich in ceramides. So that means it's rich in hydration. Make sure you check out the full review if you would like to know more about this. But I really did enjoy that. The next hair product, this is a dynamic duo and I have this in my hair right now. I am loving this so much and I did do reviews on each one of these products and it is the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. This is a new product that they have on the market. This is phenomenal. I love that this comes in a lock, like a lock tube because mine I forget and I have kids so I like the fact that I can lock this but is ultra moisturizing it did not disappoint at all exceeded my expectations the De diva curl decadence line is known for its moisture that's what high porosity girls need it is super lightweight it has a pleasant scent I wish this came in a larger bottle which diva curl really comes in I need to check and see if it comes in a larger bottle but this is an eight ounce bottle I'm going to run out of this, I know. And glycerin is low, low, low on the list. And in dew points like spring and summer, my hair thrives on type of products like this. So I really, really enjoy this. I would say at the moment, this is my number one leave-in. It's super lightweight. This is like a uh, four-day hair and I got a lot of volume. And I know that's because of that product and the one I'm about to talk to you about. And that is the Diva Curl Frizz Free Volumizing Foam. It's a lightweight body booster. If you have fine thin hair, this is a product that you are going to love. I love that it's frizz free. Again, glycerin is low, low, low on the list. This is 100% sulfate free, paraben free, and silicone free. If you don't like silicones, you're gonna love this. If your hair loves silicones, I think your hair will love this. If you need some texture and some volume, this is gonna do it for you. I have never used a mousse in my life on my channel and in real life I haven't. Just because I feel like it wasn't, it was gonna dry my hair out and that it was just not gonna provide enough hold. I feel like I get a soft hold, but I love the curl definition. I love the moisturization. I feel like that it really does the job and I'm gonna repurchase this once I run out of this, but. That Diva Curl Decadence and this has been a life changer for me. These are life changing pro products for me in terms of hair. Those will go into the vault right now. I don't know how they'll react in winter time. I try to avoid glycerin at all costs in the winter, but as of right now in spring and summer, those are my OGs. I do have a few 
body products. Well, I have two body products. This is the L'Occitane Concentrate Milk. This is the almond milk concentrate. This is so good. Now, before the body balm, this is what I loved. This is so silky cream. If you want the luxury lotion that's super lightweight but gives you a ton of moisture, this is what you're going to love. Okay. This is so good. It smells like straight up almonds, sweet almond. You know, if you've ever smelled sweet almond oil, this is this is exactly how it smells. It is so creamy. It absorbs into the skin very quickly. You don't have those like white streaks where you have to keep rubbing. This is so silky and it gives you actually a glow. I'm gonna do it on one arm and show you guys versus the other one. So it's quickly absorbing, but I love the fact that it's so super moisturizing and it's not greasy, you know what I mean? And I don't get that at with any of L'Occitane's products, but this, I don't know if you could tell the difference, but this one is so moisturizing to the point where I got to do the other one, okay? Can't be going out. And uh, make sure you cover the ashy elbows. I'm talking to myself. Those are those really dry areas, but I love this. It doesn't disturb your clothing. It like some lotions when it hits cloth clothing, it doesn't want to come out or you know it leaves kind of like a stain. I love this lotion. Love this milk concentrate so so much. That one is a holy grail. I hate when they want to like start doing stuff when I want to fail. Is the cores? I think it's called cores. This is the guava body butter. This is so good. This came in my spring Fat Fit Fun. I did not do that. I filmed it. I did not like the footage, so I didn't let it go up. But this is so good. It's a thick cream. It smells amazing, but it's super moisturizing. I feel like a, this product, too, is a great hand cream. Okay, it is so moisturizing. Non-greasy again. Greasy? I said greasy. Non-greasy at all. I love it and it smells so, so good. And I'm going to put it on here because you know what? When I wear this one, I really don't have to wear perfume. And the scent is it's on, it's comparable to the Bum Bum Cream or the Boom Boom Cream. Boom Boom Cream. <laughs> the Brazil the Sol de Janeiro this it smells so good and you get 4.23 ounces of product I really do enjoy this and I feel like I'm gonna pick up some more of these when I run out of this I love body creams so that is body I do have a couple of skincare this is the apple cider vinegar foaming uh, four in one foaming clay by Freeman's y'all know I have been ride or die for Freeman's clay mask or scrubs or just mask in general I cannot find the strawberry and chocolate anymore but if you can find it let me know I picked this up from Ulta Ulta has an array of these and so I wanted to try this I've had this for a while and it's been in my rotation but I pulled this back out and it reminds me so much of the origins rose clay mask that retexturizes this is like that plus a scrub so I really do enjoy this it's a mask, a scrub, and a cleanser, and it foams and exfoliates. I really do enjoy this. If you just like want to like do all in one, this is the product that you want to pick up. I really do enjoy it, and it has apple cider vinegar. It's gonna pull those impurities out of your out of your pores. But I really do enjoy it, and yeah, I think this is worth picking up if you are looking for a really great inexpensive face mask. Not the sheet, but the actual one that you can apply to the face. Sometimes it, you know, and that one's not hard to come off either because you massage it and add water and it foams and rinses right off. So I really do enjoy that. This is the Crystal Power Hydro Mist from Pacifica. This is like, you can use this as a toner, as a makeup setting spray and a hydration. And it has witch hazel, so you can use it as a toner. It does set my makeup and... 
I like that it's vegan and cruelty free. It's something healthy that I'm putting on my face and it does give me some hydration. So I've been keeping this at my desk and just spraying my face. That's a great place to put if you like need some hydration throughout the day and sometimes at work, you know, you want to give yourself some extra hydration. I love it. And it has some light crystals in here that shake up the product. So I really do like this. I'm almost done out of this, but this is an OG and I love this. Now, this is another scrub that's that's dual. It does two things. This is an activated charcoal scrub. So it actually pulls things out of the skin, but exfoliates and it gentle. Uh, it, it's gentle enough to use every day. I am basically out of this. I think I have one more use, but this is great for normal to oily skin. Even dry skin, I feel like could use this, but it says it's for normal to oily skin but i really do enjoy this this is probably my second or third of this love this it's an og but i just had to mention this because when it things when you're wearing makeup you want things to pull the impurities out of the skin but as well exfoliate it's a perfect multi-purpose product so i really do enjoy that as well one more skincare i think and this is what i took on my trip i am going to go further into the belief brand but this is what I took on vacation and this is basically the whole belief set. Like I said, I'm going to go into in depth, but I love that it came into a travel set. It's perfect for travel and it has my cleanser, the eye balm in there, the aqua balm moisturizer and the Hungarian water essence and another, I think, toner or water essence in here two that I've tried the bergamot herbal extract toner so you get everything in here and I also took my rose my an oil cleanser I double cleanse so I used the Derma E nourishing nourishing cleansing rose cleansing oil and it has argon and jojoba oil this is really good and I took my travel size and my pixie glow tonic in here and y'all it zipped up I'm going to definitely like refill this after I'm done with this, but I will go into a full review of each product a little bit later. Oh, I have one more make one more skincare. I did do a full review on this. This is $14. Actually, it's $12.99 at Ulta. This is so amazing. Everybody that I've heard has it, this gets nothing but great ratings from me. I I know I'm going to run out of this. When I can't put a product down, I know that that's a product that's going to stick with me forever and ever. This is by Physicians Formula. This is the Rose All Day Oil-Free Serum, and it is supposed to brighten and tighten. It does contain vitamin C, so you do want to go in with a SPF, but this is amazing. It gets it gives you a serious glow. If you want to glow for the summer, Put this on as your serum it really does work you really do feel the firmness and the brightening and it's 14 dollars. and this rivals a lot of my serums that cost way more and serums is what i really spend my money because that's what really works for the skin but physician's formula has me back um because at first with those with like their color range no I want to dive and check out more of this skincare now. So I really do love this. I highly recommend if you are an oily girl, you're going to love this because it's oil free. If you're dry, you're going to love this because it's going to brighten and tighten. If you're a woman of um, mature age, you're going to love this. If you are young, you're going to love this because it's going to give you that fresh glow. This is just kind of like a one stop shop. I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I say that I love it? I know. Moving on, moving on. Okay, so let's get into makeup. I know I have quite a bit. Um, I'm missing something over here, and it's because I did it in another video. But let me talk about it right now. Persona Cosmetics. My number one palette at the moment. I did do a full review. I showed you trying it on. I did a full face of favorites, and it is definitely a palette that I can't put down but I really do enjoy that palette I'm gonna post some pictures here while I'm talking about it I know it's away from my desk but I had to mention that palette 
oh my goodness and another palette that i have to mention i don't think i have it over here either is the makeup shayla color pop color pop palette i did do a full review on that as well but that those are two palettes that checks all the boxes for me and i highly recommend those two palettes if i if all my palettes went away i feel like i could live with those two palettes seriously and yeah I just really really enjoy those usually I don't do my palettes first but I had to talk about those two so yes OGs for me those are ones that are going to stay in my collection and I can't put those down at the moment another brand that has been like kicking the game is Hourglass and I have fallen for them okay I actually have three I thought I had two but I actually have three products by them and it is this is limited edition, but this is my favorite, so I'm still going to talk about it. It is the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit and Surreal Light. This, to me, is perfect for anybody who has a golden undertone. Um, a lot of people say that this kind of washed them out. I, I love this palette so much. It gives a golden glow. I did use this in a full, face full of favorites as well. And I will link that video either over here or down below. But this is such a beautiful palette. If you get a chance to venture out into the holiday collection, that's what I'm waiting for. This, this, is, where the, this is when their palettes come out. So I absolutely love that. I also love this bronzer. I have fallen so hard for this bronzer. It is the Hourglass Radiance Bronze Light. This is how it looks. If I want like that JLo glow, this is the product. Now I don't have it on today, but I feel like that Hourglass ha has mastered powders. Okay, I love their powder powders. They're, they're, um, I haven't come with a review on their foundation stick, but it's raving all over YouTube. I don't even know if I should come with one maybe i'll come just for the sake of you guys seeing it on my skin but that like hourglass has won my heart i absolutely love this i did do this in a luxury haul but i'm I'm gonna come back and talk about it again but radiance bronze light this is one of my favorite bronzers i was wondering why people were raving about that bronzer and now i see why and when I run out, I will repurchase that. And I went to an event and they gave me the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush in Iridescent Flash. It's what I have on my cheeks today. And this is stunning. This is how it looks. Now, this is one thing that I've learned because I went to the Abbott Kinney one, the freestanding hourglass store. It wasn't a Sephora. It was an actual hourglass store. And anything that has the strobe like it says ambient strobe lighting blush that means iridescent flash means that iridescent the strobe as iridescent is in here and it is mixed with a blush so this is a blush that i can use alone i wouldn't have to use a highlighter because it's already in here and no one of these are the same because it is swirled in there and baked but I love the fact that the strobe is mixing with the blush. I love these. These are perfect for summer when you don't want to do too much. Now, I do have a highlighter on today, the Jouer Cream Highlighters, but I did not have to put that on, but I love this too. Okay, so the next thing I have been loving are stick foundations. This is an OG. I did a review of this a long time ago, but these are the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation sticks these are the invisible cover stick foundations i love this i have it in y y425 and i have it in y505 i use these and took these on vacation i love to bronze and use these as my foundations these are perfect they blend so well they're buildable you can use them on top of a bb cream which i did to use and that's another product that I'm missing, which is my Maybelline BB cream. That is an OG that I've gone back to, but that is also a favorite. But I was able to build up, use that as a moisturizer and build it up, you know, if I was going out. But I love these foundation sticks. 
Another product was the Glam Glow Glow Starter. This smells so good. It smells like candy and it's a mega illuminating moisturizer. I love this. You can use this by itself. Use it as a glowing primer or moisturizer. I didn't even have to use a primer when I used this just because I found it very tacky. And But then I love this. I'm going to pick up the full size but this was like a travel size and this is a new glow i really love that as well another bronzer now the radiance bronze light is a glowy a shimmering bronzer with not too much shimmer but this is a matte bronzer in this i have fallen back in love with this is the Too faced dark chocolate soleil and it smells like chocolate i love it but it's such a great warm tone bronzer and I love it. It's my matte bronzer that I love when I have a lot of glow on and I don't want to go extreme. I will balance it out with a matte bronzer. I've been loving that. My girl CJ handed this over to me and this was the best thing that thank you so much girl this is the urban decay self-adjusting complexion primer this is so good I this I have fallen in love with smoothing primers this smooths and it just to my skin perfectly i love this urban, urban decay and it's such good it has adapting pigments soft focus effect and shine control now it's not shine control where it just sucks the life out of your skin but i feel like you get a lot of product and this is a really good primer i don't know why a lot of people aren't talking about this but if you have normal to combination skin um drying skin even if you have dry skin i don't think that this would mattify you i feel like you do get the soft focus if you want shine control in certain areas i think that this is really good that is a really good found uh, a really good primer i'm sorry this is estee edit this is discontinued but i love this i know nude sticks and trustique has things like this and i think milk makeup yeah milk makeup has a blurring stick but this one i actually found better i did not like the blurring stick as much from milk makeup but this is the estee edit pore vanishing stick i love this i took this on vacation and just wiped it in certain areas and it gives you soft focus and it fills in pores i really don't have pores thank the lord but this definitely gave me smoothing with that and without like modifying and feeling dried out I really do appreciate this and it's easy for travel. Another one I've fallen back in love with is the Master Conceal Camouflage by Maybelline. Maybelline makes the best concealers at the drugstore. I'm just saying. There, I love the Maybelline Fit Me. I love this one and I love the Age Rewind. If all of my concealers went away and I just had to use these three from the drugstore, I would be good. But I really do love this. It gives full coverage. To me, it's a dupe to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but without the drying out of the under eye. That one sticks like glue. This one is amazing too. You can use with your finger, you can set with a powder. It self sets to me, I really like it, and it cancels out all of my darkness. Finally, the Total Temptation. I have not come with a review, but I definitely will. I do like this for every day. It is not something that blows me away, but I really like how it looks on my lashes. And it's not, it's not the worst, but it's not the best, but I like it. I don't know how I can explain that. I feel like that it's a great like everyday mascara. Like it doesn't amp it up, but if you wanna be nice and look pretty, but at the same time, not overdone, this is a great, um, this is a great mascara and this is in blackest black I always get mine in the darkest shade and I really do love this mascara oh let me talk about flops y'all know I ditched the ego style I do have videos up about the response to the comments and the initial one as to why I'm ditching ego style but that was the biggest flop the biggest regret of my natural hair life and yes, because it did something to my my scalp and my hair like never before. So it is one of the biggest regrets, if not the biggest regret in my natural hair life. In terms of Netflix, y'all, I have been loving two shows. What am I current? Oh, The Last Kingdom. Really do like time period. It kind of reminds me of Game of Thrones kind of feels, you know what I mean? And I have been loving Queen of the South. I'm on episode, no, I'm on season two. And I heard that it was canceled. I'm so sad because I love me some Teresita in it. And it's about the Mexican cartel and how 
this woman like it's she's not trying to get out the game but it's really interesting how she shows her instincts and her intuition and it basically talks about her climb to the top so yeah I really do like Queen of the South and I'm watching The Last Kingdom. I kind of intertwine and uh, I'm trying to think of any other shows. Comment down below. Let me know what you're watching on Netflix because I love new shows and yeah, I think we'll wrap it up because if I talk about anything else, my lips are going to fall off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway below because you know every month I do a giveaway and um, yeah, it's going to be an Ipsy Mystery Glam Bag with some makeup in it. So don't forget to actually enter the giveaway below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see beautiful you in the next video.